Hey guys, so we're back doing our sampler quilt for the Eleanor Burns um, sampler. So this is block, I think we're on block seven because block six was June. We're actually a month ahead. But anyway, we're making the Illinois block. Now this block um, looks pretty complicated, but it, from what I'm seeing in the directions, it's really not. There is a lot of steps to it, but it really is going to be pretty simple, I hope. <laughs> we'll see. I would read off um, the cuts that you need, but there's a lot of them, so I won't, uh, um, you know, I'll put the instructions in the Dropbox link below, but you are going to need a light, which would be your background, a dark, and two mediums. Um, one of the mediums is going to be your center square here, so, you know, if that helps you choose. I did this little, I fussy cut these little t-shirt out of, out of my fat quarters. I thought those were so cute, so this is my little center square. <laughs> So that's the one we're going to do. Okay, so for the first cut, you know, we did a 5 by 10 rectangle of our light and our, let me set these aside, and our dark. And then they had us draw a line, so halfway line and then corner to corner. And we're just going to sew down both sides of these lines um, on, I mean, on each side of the line. So let me pull you down here where you can see. I'm going to make sure these are still lined up. This center line is just for uh, measuring and marking, so you're not going to sew on that. We're just going to sew on both sides of these two lines here, so you could start anywhere you want. I'm going to just start right here and go down this side first. It's a quarter inch away from the line. And then I'm going to come back up this side. Oh, I got that pretty close. It's going to be like a really scant quarter of an inch. <laughs> That's all right. I'll just cut in the center of that. I think you trim, we trim these down. So, all right. And then I'm going to come back down this side. come back up this side this is not really um this is we're making half square triangles and this is really not i'm not crazy about this method at all but we're doing it according to the book you know and how she says to do it and so that's what we're doing so all right so now we're gonna go take this over and we're going to cut it and don't pay attention to my floor. Yes, I know it's messy. So, we're going to cut these on. We're going to cut directly on this line that we drew, the center line here. For our first cut. Then, we're going to cut corner to corner. And if you did your seams right and not like me, <laughs> it should be right on the drawn line. Since I sewed so close to them, I'm kind of having to compensate compensate it's going to be really scant but they should hold so okay so then we're going to square these to four and a half inches now i got the new quilt in a day square at ruler oh, that's upside down um this one has the little notches right here so you can get your dog ears before you open it up and press it and i really really love it the writing on it is much more plain let me see if i can show you guys the writing on it is fantastic. It's much brighter um, and more easy to read than the other one. I love the other one, but I'm going to try this one. So, we're going to uh, square these to four and a half. So, however you like to do your squaring on your half square triangles is up to you, but they do need to come out at four and a half. And I'm going to cut the dog ears right quick. And that should be that I probably need a new blade there we go and so oh I like that my dog ears are already cut off when I square them and that's gonna make things so much quicker so let me get the rest of these um, squared up okay so if you hear the lawnmower outside I'm sorry my husband is mowing the yard <laughs> so the next thing we're gonna make is the flying geese units the way that they do it and so we've got a bigger background square and a smaller um, print dark fabric now these measurements will be in the pattern link that I put in the description and we are going to sew on both sides of the drawn line here a quarter inch away from 
that drawn line all the way down both fabrics. Make sure that they're right sides together. Alright, and then down this side. Alright, we're going to do that with the dark, and we're also going to do the same thing with um, one of our medium uh, fabrics. Cut exactly the same way, and draw a line. I should have pinned these so that they didn't move, but okay. Okay, once you have both of them sewn, you're going to cut directly on your drawn line on both of them. So you're going to have a crazy looking square, don't worry. <laughs> it's supposed to be that way. All right, and then same thing on this one, just down the center. Now we're going to go ahead and press these open because we need them to be pressed so that they're, you know, fairly accurate. So we'll press this to the dark. And you'll see what I mean. We've done this method um, on another block. I can't, I think it was a Colorado block we did this one on last month, maybe. And then probably the first or second one we did, um, we did it again. So let me press this one just right quick. Okay. Now you're going to lay these together and make sure your, op your, your prints are opposite. So I've got print here on this one and a print on this one. You are not going to nest the seams. Do not do that. What you're looking for is matching this outside edge. Your seams are going to be way apart right here, and that is okay. And we're going to draw a line down the center of this. Let me, like I said, just match your outside edges. And if you're worried about it moving, go ahead and pin it. Um, there's nothing wrong with pinning it if you need to, so, because we're going to draw a, we're going to sew down both sides of this line again. So we're going to do this on both pieces. All right, once you have your line drawn, you're just going to sew down both sides, quarter of an inch. Just make sure your seams stay flipped the way you want them to be. fabric is hung up there. There we go. Okay. All right. We'll keep going here. Okay. Once you have those sewn, then you're going to cut directly on your drawn line again. And you're going to get something that looks like this. And this is what we're going to trim two um, flying geese out of. We're going to get four flying geese out of each of the same fabrics. There's two in each one of these deals. So I'm going to press those open. Okay, so we're going to trim these up once you have them all pressed. And what we're going to do is trim them to four and a half by two and a half tall. So your very center peak here, you're going to center your two and a quarter line on that. All right. Because we're going to trim all the sides. So just center your two and a quarter line on that. So you have two and a quarter this way. Then you're going to want to go up at least a quarter of an inch. Because you don't want to cut your points off. So once you have that centered there, you can make your first cut around this side. And then we'll flip it around. And now we're going to go four and a half. Make sure your two and a quarter is still at your point down here. And bring it down to two and a half. So we're four and a half by two and a half and trim both sides. And now we have a cute little flying geese. So that's what we're going to do to all of them. We're going to get um, four at, for each print. So let me do this one again. So you can see, so two and a quarter is on my very point. Let me go this side. This side. Oh, my ruler slipped a little. Let's see what we got. 
So we'll go four and a half over here to two and a half here. And my two and a quarter is still on my little peak. And there we go. So let me get the rest of these trimmed up. Okay, so once you have all of your um, little flying geese done, now we're gonna sew them together. So all you need to decide now is you want the dark on the bottom or, sorry about the lawnmower, or the um, medium. You know, if you wanted them this way, it's just whichever way um, you want them. I think I'm gonna do the dark to, because these are gonna be pointing out in the block, I'm gonna do the dark to the bottom. So all we need to do is just flip this one over on this one and sew all four of these together to make a flying geese unit. And they all should be the same size, so it should just match right up. You should not lose any of your points um, because you left that quarter of an inch on there. But if you are worried about um, losing your point, so if you'll notice here, where my stitches cross right there and right there, as long as I'm on this side of that intersection, I'm gonna have a point when I flip this open. So just while you're sewing, you can see where they crisscross right there. And as long as you stay on the side of that, you will be all right and have a nice point. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So sometimes when I get there, if it looks like I'm gonna hit that point, I'll kind of just, you know, go just, just around it just a wee bit and then that way I still have a nice sharp point so that was why we were leaving the quarter of an inch there so we're gonna sew these all together and make our units okay so then the last thing um, once we've got those sewn together last thing we need to do is make our square and a square with our little square and our triangles that we cut earlier and they, these are super simple so what we're going to do is put this triangle on here you're going to have the edges are going to hang over just a wee bit but if you want to really center it just fold this in half and make a little crease and you can do the same thing on here just make a little crease and then that'll line right up and you know you'll have that triangle directly in the center of your block and you, there's no guessing at that point. You could mark it with a marker, you know, some kind of marking utensil. All right, and then we're gonna do this other side. So you wanna do opposite sides first and then do your top and bottom. Or side, to top and top, side, side, however you wanna say it. So take the long end of your triangle, I'm gonna fold it in half, put the little corners together and just make a crease then I know I'm right there on the money and just sew down a quarter of an inch. Now you can go ahead and press these open if you want. I'm just going to finger press this and push it back. Now these triangles are biased so be very careful not to stretch them. We're going to trim this up but still you know you don't want to stretch them so. And then what I'm going to do is make um, a center mark again here do it on this side that way it's already done for me and that's open I don't know why he's mowing up here <laughs> he's done already mowed up here twice today he's done there we go okay so we're gonna go down this side and then we'll do this other side line everything up so your triangle you will have some pieces that hang over don't fret so don't worry about that we're gonna trim this up so I'm gonna finger press this and then take it to the iron and we'll press it open okay so we'll press this open now we're gonna square this to four and a half So, you want to make sure you leave a quarter of an inch at your points here, though, when you center it. So, center it from two sides, um, and it might be easier to use the, the points. So that way, you can go two and a quarter on those points and go above that 
and it's going to be a four and a half so make sure you have you can scooch it over however you need to to make sure that you're going to have a quarter of an inch all the way around and it that looks really good so i'll go this side all right now we can go four and a half from here and here because I've got two good sides making sure well I'm gonna have to trim this other side just a wee bit more the main thing is making sure it's your points here you've got a quarter of an inch so I had to scoot that up just a little bit so I'm gonna re measure that here and just trim that wee bit off Okay, so there's my little center block, and it's got the wool shirts on it. So cute for Father's Day. <laughs> okay, now it's just the layout. So okay, so we're gonna have our center square. Then our flying geese are gonna go pointed to the outside. And our half square triangles are all going to point in to the center block like this and then we just sew it together like a big nine patch so let's put, go over here to the sewing machine and sew that together so I'm just going to chain stitch all these and then add to it um, when I get to the last block I'll chain stitch the first three rows Everything's been trimmed up, so it should match just about perfectly. Okay, so then I'm going to leave this here open this up and bring the next block over and it goes on there like so open that one up and this one goes here go ahead and press these or you could just leave them attached which is what I'm going to do and flip them over and sew them and then I'll press it all at the end so match your seams make sure those all line up that one just a little bit short but okay and then over and do the side usually go ahead and press my seams because like I said sometimes I can get a better fit, a fit better if my block gets a little wonky all right 
that's it. So let's get this pressed. And I'm going to press from the back because I want to make sure these seams are going the way I want them first. And let's see here. These ones there. There. Alright, I think I got them blocked. It's just a little curvy. I'm going to have to redo this if I can get that to I'll trim it up and see what we got so there's that yeah I got a little curve right here but I think I can straighten that up no problem so just give it a good press and there's our block so that's called the Illinois block I'm not loving the fabrics that I chose It is, it's done now though, so you know, that's what we're going with. I don't know, I think in a whole quilt, it'll look good. I just chose this fat quarter because I thought they would all kind of combine, but some of these I'm like, I don't know, we'll see. So anyway, there we go. All right, see you guys next month.